second part. The next experiment for today, we want to invite you to set boundaries, to start setting boundaries in a healthy way, to learn how to say stop and say no. You find a partner and you stand opposite from each other. And, and this time, the person with the longer hair is person A and starts. And person B with the shorter hair is the, the person who will, say, uh, will discover if the stop is landing in, the pers uh, in, in themselves. And the person A will say stop first with the hand like this and the voice at the same time, like stop. And person B will move towards person A and is Great. only stop, stopping when it really lands. So what I mean with landing, when the person goes like this, that person stop. B is really only stopping when it really lands in her four bodies, in her emotional, energetic, stop. physical and mental body. Not only hearing it and saying, oh, I need to stop. No, is it stop. really landing in me? And do I get this resistance of, who? there is a space stop. I'm stop. not to enter. Like you see. Stop. And person B gives feedback if maybe Stop. the voice needs to be more um, loud, uh, more anger. Stop. Um, Stop. Whatever is necessary or the eye contact was not there. Um, the person B gives feedback. Stop. If it's working and what not. No. No. But Stop. Okay, yeah, say it more from your center, use more anger, and land it right in front of my feet, or right into my center. Stop! Yeah. Stop! Mm -hmm. It doesn't need to be so big. Just put it right to where I am, not past me. What you could see here now was also this stop, it was almost like a question. So land your stop really as a, there's a downfall at the end. Stop. It's not stop. It's not a question. Because if you would question it, then you're questioning yourself. Yeah. So try again and let it land with the kind of with the point afterwards. Like let it fully land with her and speak that it really lands in her. Stop! Yeah. Yeah. And now we are shifting to, we are shifting roles and now you will go and you will say stop. And normally you would shift the roles, but now we go to the second version. And the second version is without the hand. No hand, only voice. You say stop, you use your voice and the person will, like person B and or person A will stop only when the stop is really landing in her. Stop. Stop. First time didn't land on me and the second time it was a little bit of anger and before you speak I already feel like to stop. 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 The first time that a little bit of question in the end. Thank you. Did you, did you sense it? Yeah. yeah. Thank you for this experiment. And this was an, a perfect example of how you are able to train setting boundaries. And Setting boundaries is so crucial to have a healthy relationship. So I encourage you to do exactly this experiment so that you find your voice. 
and your boundary when is it enough when is it too close or also when is it too far but in this case you're you're practicing what is too close happy experimenting this is radical relating time christine my name see you next time